What's poppin', y'all? I have not seen a rollout with an artist doing the most like this in quite a while. Maybe Astroworld an example of it? Well, there wasn't the element of beef with Astroworld rollout. But Lil Durk's new album, he's set to release it, I believe, the, he said the 26th, 27th, something like that. One of Next Friday. And I like it. I like to see what he's doing. It's kind of, he's kind of doing the most, but that's what you want. The one thing though is he has absolutely no reason or no excuse for flopping. I don't want to hear, if Lil Durk does under 100k, especially the way people are gassing his numbers, I don't want to hear it. That's, he's doing every, he's meeting up with the mayor, he's at the mayor's inauguration, is that, is that what they call it, the inauguration, when the mayor goes into, goes into office? He's doing all this charity work in Chicago now, he's trying to fake like he's not with the violence anymore, which just yesterday you were, he dropped this song with J. Cole, fire song by the way, we gotta talk about this, I'm not very much so a Lil Durk fan, I guess, I don't Let's say listener. I'm not a fan of anybody. A listener to too much of Lil Durk's music. Album-wise, I'm not listening to a whole Lil Durk album. That's just not me. There have been singles I've liked here and there, but they were more of like the drilly type of songs as opposed to his more singy songs. I don't really enjoy those as much. So you got to take it serious when I say, this song was fire. I like the sample on it. Uh, J. Cole, of course. I like the music video. I like the messaging he's trying to send. Everything about it I enjoy. It's a great lead up. I like how he's baiting NBA Youngboy into beef. Lil Durk is an example of somebody who is the perfect business partner for a record label. Like everybody's saying, why is Lil Durk everywhere? Number one, they spend a ton of money on Lil Durk. Why do they spend a ton of money on Lil Durk? On promotion? Because they know it's going to be amplified. It's kind of like Lil Nas X. They spend a ton of money on Lil Nas X promotion. Now, some people are saying, man, nah, Lil Nas X is his own promotion. Nah, it's, you're, you're not going to have a crazy reach that Lil Nas X does, which he hasn't dropped in a while, but this isn't about him. You're not going to have that crazy reach without amplifying what you're already doing. But people like Lil Nas X and Lil Durk make it easy because they play ball. They're not just like, yo, I'm making the music. Yo, y'all need to promote this. Lil Durk is doing everything he can. He DM'd 6 9 like, yo, I got 50 million of my own money. Let's fight. Like, we, we know that's cap. If Lil Durk gets his face busted and his career is over, he's going to wish the Slide for Vaughn comments came back because every single reply under his IG and Twitter will be him getting knocked out. Y'all remember Nate Robinson? Nate Robinson went to sleep and never came back. He got put to the canvas by Jake Paul and y'all decided to clown him so badly, which I don't even think he deserved to be clowned. Jake Paul had a significant height advantage. Nate Robinson was a basketball player, has absolutely zero to do with boxing. But uh, yeah, everyone just clowned him after that, which is unfortunate. But being a rapper, you're getting clowned way harder, which is why I respect Blueface actually getting in the ring and fighting people, although he has significant reach advantage with everyone he fights just because of his weight class. But circling back to Lil Durk, uh, Beef with NBA Youngboy or baiting NBA Youngboy, which I don't know why NBA Youngboy just like bites that bait. I don't even think they're in competition, to be honest. I think Youngboy believes he's a lot bigger than he actually is or has a wider reach and influence than he actually does. But it's like institutional players. For example, the we'll, take, we'll talk 2016 election, right? 2016 election, there's electoral college and the mass vote. Hillary Clinton got more votes, but Electoral College, Donald Trump got more votes, so he ends up winning, right? That's kind of like the industry. You could have sheer more number of organic people, which I believe Youngboy has more than Dirk, but if the people that have more power, which aren't just the normal listeners, are on another person's side, then yeah, you're not going to have a chance, even though those people are on NBA Youngboy's side too. So we have Lil Dirk doing the most to drop this. But one, one question that I've got is the superstar question. I talked about it in a couple of videos ago. I don't remember when it was, but this is why you got to watch every single video. Come on. Well, what better do you have to do with your time when you know, you're sitting on the toilet or something? So the superstar conversation, somebody had the nerve to say Lil Durk is a superstar. or we, I said we haven't had a superstar in 10 years. 10 years, Travis Scott came out 2013. I don't think there's been a superstar since. 
As a matter of fact, I know there has not been a rap superstar since. Lil Durk, he announced a tour, right? And guess who's on this tour? Damn, that's crazy. We've got Didi Osama, which we're not even going to count him. He's kind of, they're just throwing him as the opener opener. So he's brand new. He's not shaking up the tour in any type of way. No disrespect to him. Like, I hope he's doing his thing. But what I'm saying is he's not adding a significant amount of tickets for it to matter that he's on the roster. However, when you throw NLE Choppa on here and you've got Kodak Black, now you're like, whoa, you got to assemble the Avengers, not the Avengers. Let's say the died Avengers. You've got to assemble the died Avengers to go on tour. And we don't know what these venues look like yet. So if Lil Durk can't even go on a solo tour selling out arenas, he ain't no superstar. That's just it. Now, Lil Durk is doing well for himself, absolutely. And I, I like to see him win. I actually do like Lil Durk. I do think it's finally time for him to please, God, just shed the whole violence thing. You don't need it. You're so big. And perhaps like a more positive, I think he can have the same type of music without rapping the same way and without beefing with the same people. I just don't like to see that when someone's at such a high level. So that's partially why Lil Durk's not a superstar. Because if you can't tour on your own, you're not a superstar. Like, just get out of here. Like, if it was just Lil Durk, because Kodak Black is arguably as big as Lil Durk. Maybe even bigger. Now, is he going to sell the same first week? No, but those are not the same metric as being as big as someone. However, NLE Choppa, no, he's not as big as Kodak. Or I think this is a great look for NLE Choppa, though. NLE Choppa has been doing a lot. I think he has more of a partnership, so he's another person that plays ball well with his label. And I think Lil Durk does so much because you got to think how active Lil Durk is. He's on some podcast, and then he's doing some show, then he's doing some appearance, then he's posting different multiple times a day and he's tweeting. This guy doesn't stop working. You got to think all the time he's spending in the studio too, because this guy's recording constantly. He's getting better with music. He's nonstop works. And I think it's because Lil Durk experienced having blown up, signing, having like a gold record, falling off to the point where you're like, damn, maybe my career is over. And then blowing up again bigger than you were the initial blow up. I think most artists never experience that. Maybe the first, like if they fall off, they're never getting back to where they originally were. Let alone surpassing it. So I think he will never forget and constantly has in the back of his mind those moments when he had just fallen off so badly and was thinking, damn, is my career really over? That he never wants to go back to that. And he's just doing everything in his power, whether it's baiting 6 9 who is foolish for even replying to his DM. He should have just left him on scene or just not even opened it. Or it's calling out NBA Youngboy, who I really don't even know if he has problems with. Like, of course, like they've had a back and forth, but I think he just disregards him because he knows he's not a threat in any type of way. Like, if people like Lil Durk's music, they're going to listen to it. Nobody's going to stop listening to it because of NBA Youngboy. But with that, I'm interested in seeing the venues that they have for this tour, as well as seeing, I'm actually want to listen to this Lil Durk album. This single got me wanting to check out the full album. Now, for some people saying, man, you're not listening to a Lil Durk album. That's what you said in the beginning of the video. Look, I'm not going to listen to it multiple times. 7220, I believe I listened to it one time, the whole thing. That was... The only album I think I've listened to the whole thing since, was it Signed to the Streets 2? Something in 2017. That's the last time I can remember. Or 2016, around there. So this one, I'm interested to see if the message is actually congruent to how he's portraying himself. Or there could be the potential Rico that's on the way and is why he's trying to clean up his image and trying to get in the good graces of the mayor. But realistically, if the federal government drops the Rico, that mayor ain't doing nothing for you, bro. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. What is a Lil Durk flop for this album? Considering just just go off vibes. <laughs> we're we're on some uh, we're on some TikTok white chick. Just go off vibes. What, what do you feel like is a flop for this album? I think I wouldn't really consider anything a flop for a big artist now, unless they sell like under sixty k. Now, if Travis Scott sells under hundred k. I'm looking at him crazy, but let's say Lil Durk does 70. I don't think that's a flop. I do think that's lackluster. 
I expected more. But sales are just so, so difficult now. And for someone to crack 100K now, that's like the new 500. Maybe even more. There's very few people cracking that, especially without merchandise bundles and things like that that kind of juice the numbers. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Peace.